Hi, this is Mike Bloom, and in this set of tutorials, I'm going to show you uh, the most effective way to set up your Blackboard Grade Center using uh, Blackboard 9.1. Um, so the first thing that I'm doing here is I've got my Blackboard site um, opened up, and I'm going to go to my Grade Center. So the Grade Center is going to be underneath your control panel on the left-hand side. So if you notice, I've got my menu area up here, and I've got my control panel down below. I'm just going to scroll down to the Grade Center and if I click on Grade Center I get a bunch of options. I get Needs Grading, Full Grade Center, Assignments, and Tests as the sort of default smart views. I'm going to just click on Full Grade Center and get things set up. And Grade Center will open, and your students should just sort of appear there um, underneath if you've got student enrollments. So, first thing that you're going to want to do is um, take a look and see which columns you actually need. To start out with, you've got a bunch of columns here, um, including last name, first name, username, student ID last access, availability, weighted total, and total. Um, if you have imported your class from an older um, Blackboard course site, you may have more columns here and you may need to get rid of those. So I'm just talking about just a clean, fresh install and how you might want to set up your site. Um, so I like to hide things that I don't need to see. So the first thing that I usually don't need to see is student ID. And depending on what browser you're using, you can hide them individually by clicking on the arrow to the right of the column name and say hide column and if I ch click on that it will hide my column and you see the student ID is no longer there and I can continue to do that with all the columns I don't want to see so um, that's the slow way to do it if you want to do it quickly if you have a lot of columns that you want to hide you just go up to manage and go to column organization and then you can check the boxes next to the things that you don't want to see. So I don't really care about last access or availability, so I'm going to check those two. So I've got student ID, last access, and availability all hidden. And now once those boxes are checked, I go to show hide, and I say hide selected columns. And you'll notice they are now grayed out and you see hidden next to them. That's going to be important if you ever need to reveal a column. You can just go back and reveal the columns in that um, column organization tool. And I'll click on Submit. Those columns are hidden, and now I've got room to add more columns over here without having it stretch across the page. Um, the other thing that I like to do to start things out is to uh, get rid of the, the total column and make the weighted total column the new total column because the total column is really just um, an accumulation of all the points that could be in your course. So if you've got seven um, things that you're grading on and they're each worth 100 points, that total column is just going to equal 700 and there's no reason to have the students see that weird number. So I like to um, change the uh, external grade to the weighted total and then I can delete that total. And here's how you do that. You'll notice there's a little check mark next to total, which means it's the external grade. And all that means for practical purposes is you're not going to be able to delete that total. So I'm going to make the weighted total the external grade. And I'll click on the uh, downward arrow uh, to the right of the weighted total. And you'll notice I get a bunch of drop-down options. And the one that I want is set as external grade. And I'll click set as external grade. Now the weighted total is the external grade. And then I can go in, select the uh, total, and say delete column. And I'll get a warning, and I say OK. And that's it. So that's the basics of starting your Grade Center clean and fresh so that you can actually start using it. Um, and in the next tutorial, I'll start adding content to it.